Being a successful creator doesn't need to be expensive. This is how you can build an empire using just your phone. And here's all the different sections with chapters and timestamps so you can skip around the video and find what is best for you. So today's video is all about YouTube gear, or lack thereof, I should say. There's often the misconception that in order to start a YouTube channel and be super successful, you need to have all the latest tech and software or you won't succeed. Now this couldn't be further from the truth, particularly in 2023, where you've got YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels, which are all designed around creating the video content from those apps on your phone. And sure, making high quality videos with a DSLR and microphone and everything is great, but sometimes all you need is your phone camera and yourself. But before considering any type of tech or gear decisions, begin by asking yourself the truly existential question. Why do you want to become a creator at all? And if none of the answers have to do with some kind of passion or desire for actually creating content itself, then maybe you might want to reconsider. The truth is, one of the answers to that question should probably involve something with a passion or desire or enjoyment for actually creating the content in addition, of course, to all the potential revenue or money benefits that it may bring. Starting a new venture or project, like a YouTube channel, I think should be done as reasonably cheaply as possible. The only exception really to this rule is if you're like a company and you're just starting to create video content on YouTube, then people are gonna expect some probably reasonable level of quality from a big brand. But if you're like a creator, like an individual like myself, then the high quality tech will just come over time. And first, you just need to start creating and uploading content that you enjoy and that you're interested in. And probably the three more important things to consider are having some good natural lighting so people can see you, a decent background, and also just some personal motivation and desire to actually create the content, film the videos, upload them, edit them. If you've got all of these three, then you know what? Everything else is gonna come. You don't really need much else to get going. A lot of being a YouTuber just comes from being a good storyteller. If you think of your favorite creators, do they always have an impeccable setup? Did you know that Mr. Beast still films these videos in 1080p HD? because he doesn't want it to feel like too well produced in 4K, go and check out one of his videos on the channel. They're all in 4 HD. And even if Mr. Beast decided to upload in 720p, would you still watch the content? Yeah, you probably would, right? I think the big thing that I learned is just having the build up of confidence to be able to realize that, you know, do people actually care about the videos that you're creating in terms of like your friends and family? Probably not. Does it really matter if they kind of care or not? Probably not, even especially if like the videos are not even really targeted at them from an audience. It doesn't really matter what your friends or family may think about like uploading content. The thing is, if you're interested in it, it's like validating one of your passions and you're sharing that with the world and other people who are also interested in your passion, like Pokemon cards, for example, then that's really the only thing that matters. And the only way to do that really is by practicing. Putting a camera in front of yourself like I'm doing now and just speaking to the camera about something you're passionate about. And then maybe editing it a bit and then uploading it onto a platform like YouTube. If anything, I find it less daunting to speak in front of my phone purely based on the fact that the lens is so much smaller compared to a huge DSLR which feels a little bit more like imposing. And the thing is, phones or cameras aren't really cheap these days, but one of the things that brands and manufacturers have been really doubling down on in terms of their innovation over the past few years is within the camera setups of the phone. So most phones nowadays that have come out in the last three or four years have really good cameras and actually pretty decent microphone setups too. And some creators choose to use their phone and film all their content on to this day. Particularly with shorts and vertical content, because it's so easy to carry, it's always on you and it's so great for vlogs. I know, for example, for me, that if I'm wanting to film a vlog or if I'm wanting to like go somewhere and film some content, but I don't want to feel like too self-conscious about it. Actually just like taking my phone or taking like this little DJI pocket thing that I actually got, it's just a really nice way of getting myself more confident and used to like vlogging or filming in public for sure. And also an advantage of filming the photos and videos on your phone is that they're right there for you to be able to edit if you're on a train or if you're on a flight or if you're in the car or you know, you're just 
kind of on the move and you just want to get going, get editing something, get started with an app like CapCut, for example, which is a super popular editing app. I think the real upgrade that you can do with a phone setup is not necessarily in the camera department, but more around the mic. People will sit through and watch a YouTube video that maybe doesn't have the best like video quality, but they won't necessarily sit through a video with audio that is just really, really poor or really appalling. If you've got AirPods in or you've got headphones on, you're really gonna notice that the audio quality is poor. So if you wanna use an external microphone, you can do that too. And that's probably where I recommend getting like a cheap mount or like a lavalier mic for under 30 pounds that you can kind of like clip onto your phone, laptop, or even just like your shirt. So currently we're at the cost of like 20 or 30 pounds for an external microphone because we already have the phone and we're already gonna buy that latest iPhone or that latest Google Pixel. So that's like a sunk cost. The only other thing you might wanna consider if you're doing content a little bit like this where you're sitting down in front of a camera is like some kind of tripod. So next, you could of course invest in like a smartphone tripod. It's just a way to like prop up your phone. But to be honest, all you really need is like a stack of books. I use like a stack of postcards or maybe some other household item you want to start with and literally get your postcards, lean your phone up against it, boom. All right, all right, that's what I'm talking about! We've got some kind of like workable tripod situation. It of course works if I want to film horizontally too. Now look, you might think, oh well the angle might be dodgy, but actually, you know what? You can make it work. And I've actually used this many, many times if I've wanted to film in like a public place or somewhere where I've been like a bit nervous or a bit self-conscious about filming, I'll just prop my camera or my iPhone or my Pixel uh, up against like a wall or up against some books or some postcards in this case and film myself like working at a desk for some B-roll for a video. When you do want to bring a DSLR and you're feeling maybe a little bit self-conscious or maybe you're worried that people are going to look at you, all the concerns that I've definitely had before, then you can just bring your phone and prop it up against something and it'll be 90% as good as if you were to bring a full DSLR. The true beauty of YouTube is that you can use anything you have around you to make it work. Just make sure the camera is straight, stable, and nothing is blocking the microphone. So now you've got your physical hardware sorted with your phone and maybe an external mic or lavalier mic. Then once you've got that sorted, all you really need is some software to be able to edit your videos on. So you can use something like CapCut, you can use YouTube or TikTok's built-in editors. You've also got tools like iMovie that Apple provides as well free of charge if you have an iPhone. And if you still don't believe me that you can film an amazing video on your phone, did you know that all of these different music videos, Stupid Love by Lady Gaga, Lose You To Love Me by Selena Gomez, A Good Night by John Legend, and How Long Will I Love You by Ellie Goulding, all of these, guess what? They were filmed on a phone. Really? I know, right? It's, I mean, I'm not complaining. Possibility of using your phone, whether you're doing sit down talking videos, whether you're vlogging, whether you're trying to film B or of yourself in public, is almost limitless. Particularly just on the ability that I find to use my phone in a public place with no one to really like bat an eyelid or judge me. It really is the go anywhere camera. And one of the best phrases that I love is, what's the best camera that you have? The one that is with you. I will say one quick thing, which is that if you do start making a little bit of money or maybe you start seeing some traction, brands start reaching out to you, um, you're getting loads of views and followers etc and you do want to invest in some like proper DSLR or camera or filming gear, I will list down below in the description all of the different products that I use. My camera is like five years old though and it's filming this video and I think the quality of this is still pretty decent, it can film 4K. So super happy to share with you all of the different gear that I use. It's actually quite low tech, it didn't actually cost me that much. There's also nothing wrong with getting gear used, like from the likes of CEX in the UK or eBay. There's stores that you can actually buy lenses or cameras or lighting from that's second hand that will also have a warranty. So highly recommend doing that. What really matters, aside from having a most amazing red camera that like Marquez Brownie uses that's probably ten or twenty thousand dollars is building the confidence, building the reps, like getting the reps in and uploading more content and building really quality videos and content that people really enjoy watching, not necessarily physical quality of the video that you produce. People wanna watch you for you and your authentic self, no matter the top tech you may have. Remember, most YouTubers started with a phone 
or even worse, just their like computer camera webcam. So set up your book stack, place your phone in the right slot and press record. You're recording a YouTube video. So do you have any further questions about gear? I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below. But let me just say one thing. Don't let gear be the barrier for you to start setting up a successful business in the creator economy this year. Because there are so many, so many, so, so, so many creators out there who are just using their phones and being really, really successful. So don't feel like you need to have a spare two or three grand in order to be a successful YouTuber. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out this one to watch next. Subscribe if you're not already. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.